Hi there, it's Ricky Cool here again, and uh, I'm carrying on with my lessons about uh, tongue blocking using the C major scale. Um, I'm assuming now that uh, you've managed to kind of master the art of tongue blocking and that you can get a nice sound out of a single note. For example, the four hole blow, four hole draw, and that you've uh, been able to practice um, this technique and play between the four hole and the seven hole to produce a C major scale. What we're going to look at in this lesson is um, a couple of exercises that you can do to really try and uh, reinforce your um, knowledge of that particular set of notes and where they lie on the harmonica and whether you're blowing or sucking. So uh, the first exercise uses the notes of the C major scale which is C, D, E, F, G, A, B and C but it also includes the D above the high C which in this case is going to be the eight hole uh, draw note I'm just checking there to make sure I don't make a mistake and on the way down you're going to use the B below the starting point the four hole blow note C and that will be the three hole draw so it's kind of extending things a little bit the exercise works like this you play from C to E so that's four hole blow to five hole blow then you go from D to F which is four hole draw to five hole draw then you go from E to G five hole blow to six hole blow and you work your way through the scale like that now um, I do have a sheet prepared which explains that I'm hoping that this is showing up okay um, and I'm going to do the exercise first of all uh, in minims so each note is going to last for two beats and then I'm going to speed it up and uh, do it as crotchets each note lasting for one beat the backing track that I'm going to be using for this exercise um, first off is similar to the one that I've used for the C major scale but um, the chord changes um, are slowed down a little bit so that it works with the exercise so let's give it a try here we go um, That's the exercise. Now you'll notice when I was playing that that I did make one or two little mistakes. I'm not too worried about that to be quite honest. The main thing, particularly when you're playing with a backing track, is to try and keep going, to try and keep in time with the backing track and uh, not to worry too much about mistakes. The main thing when you're playing is to keep going. You can't stop and correct mistakes when you're playing in a band. You can't stop and correct mistakes when you're playing with a backing track. The backing track carries on. So try to get into the habit of keeping on going. Don't worry about mistakes. When I'm doing these um, exercises, I know I'm going to make loads of mistakes. Um, I don't care. The main thing is that I keep in time with the backing track. So let's look at that same exercise again now. This time I'm going to be playing it as crotchets.
Okay, so that's the first exercise. And there you are, there's iTunes going straight into the next track without me stopping it. Um, so, in my next uh, little lesson, we're going to look at uh, another exercise that you can do. And hopefully by the time you've mastered both of these exercises, you'll feel really comfortable working around the middle part of the um, ten-hole harmonica. Uh, I'm using the same harmonica as I used in the last lesson. This is a Hohner crossover harmonica. And... Um, it's in the key of C, of course, because I'm doing a C major scale and I'm playing in what's called first position, the key that the harmonica is. And by the time you've mastered these exercises, you should feel really comfortable in that middle area of the harmonica. Don't forget, I'm happy to send you the backing tracks that you need and sheets with the notes that um, I'm playing on this exercise. Although I would say that I'd rather you learn to play by ear here than to follow the notes. We're dealing with a, an instrument which is essentially used for sort of folk styles of music here. And generally speaking, people aren't too worried about being able to read music and read notation. They want to learn things by ear. And when you've got your harmonica in your mouth, you really have to use your ear anyway uh, in order to hear that you're playing the correct note. So have fun with that exercise. And uh, I'll see you again shortly with another one. Cheerio for now.